when Billy got the ball, there was a, a, a whoosh went round Anfield. Centre forward, Little presses on and fires one home. Liverpool one up in the first 18 minutes. He, he broke one goalkeeper's wrist trying to save one of his penalties. They wouldn't let him go in goal. He was too valuable out, outfield. And the amazing thing about Billy was he only trained twice a week. To me, he's the finest Liverpool player I've ever seen. Well, he was signed before the war from a wonderfully named Scottish club called Loch Gelly Violet. He made his impression after the war and helped Liverpool win the league title in 46-47. Bob Paisley made his debut that season as well. Billy was just a sensational player. Ian Callaghan will tell you that he became a Liverpool fan because of Billy Little. He said when Billy got the ball, there was a, a, a whoosh went round Anfield, expectancy and just incredible. Um, atmosphere when he got the ball. He was just wonderful and he had a, a shot like a cannonball. He, he broke one goalkeeper's wrist trying to save one of his penalties. And then of course there was the famous goal that wasn't when they played Manchester City in an FA Cup replay when Billy scored past Bert Troutman but the whistle had gone between the ball leaving Billy's boot and going into the net. So it was disallowed. The, the crowd wouldn't go home. They thought it was, uh, they had to appeal for the crowd to go home. And the ball's on the ground. Outside left middle sees a chance. It's an open goal and he shoots. Billy could play anywhere. He could play right across the line, on the wing, in the middle. In fact, uh, he would often end up as a halfback or even as a fullback in emergencies. There was one game at Derby County when the goalkeeper, I think it was Tommy Younger, got injured and they had to, he, he tossed up with Ronnie Moran who'd go in goal because there were no substitutes and Billy won the toss but they wouldn't let him go in goal, he was too valuable out, outfield. It was known as Littlepool with the great Billy Little. To me he's the finest Liverpool player I've ever seen simply because he was in a mediocre team and that's, that's being complimentary to them but he shone and his goals one season stopped them going into the third division. Goodness knows where they'd have ended up. Um, he scored 30 league goals one season uh, to tell Keith them up, but he was a wonderful, wonderful player. And the amazing thing about Billy was he only trained twice a week. He was an accountant, and that was his job. He only trained twice a week and yet he was so brilliant he was one of only two players to play for the Great Britain team twice, he and Tom Finney. Just incredible.